Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about a crucial uh, customization tip, how to remove the preview step when you are submitting an event from the front end side. So to make more sense out of this, let's go to event dashboard and we will click on the submission button. So this is the event submission page for our WP Event Manager. So let's go ahead and fill this out, these details very quickly, and we will talk more about the today's topic, okay? So as you can see, I have filled all the necessary details over here in this uh, event, pretty bare minimum, but that's not our focus today. So if we click on this preview uh, button over here, take a note that the button over here is now preview, okay? So we can click this button. It will take us to the preview page where we can uh, preview how it's gonna look in the front end side with all the event details, okay? so. I'm not gonna go ahead and submit the listing cause it will go ahead and submit the listing for approval from the admin side. So instead what we can do, we can go back to edit listing and we're gonna stay over here, okay? So we're gonna open the dashboard in a new tab and we're gonna go inside appearance and theme editor. So the code we're gonna use today over here are already posted in my GitHub and already formatted. So you don't face like any kind of problems when you are pasting the code into your WordPress environment. Okay, so you can head over to my GitHub. I will leave the link in the description. You can copy the code and pretty much come to your themesfunctions.php and you can paste it over here, right at the bottom, okay? So yeah, I will explain what's going on over here and a quick tip, don't use this theme editor over here cause if you make any kind of PHP mistakes or and even like miss one character over here, let's say this semicolon, when you're copy pasting the code, it will cause a EO500 on the website. So use an FTP or maybe your web host default code editor. That will help you or like save you a lot of time. Don't ask me why, okay? So yeah, you can pretty much copy paste the code and you should be good to go after you update the file, okay? So let's take a look at it action. Then I'm gonna explain what the code does in a second so let's click over here so this is the event details page where we can uh, type in let's say the event data very quickly so i have filled the data as you can see over here for this event if you recall correctly previously when we tried to submit an event from the front end side we had a preview button over here right but now it's submit event so what happens if we click this button let's see and it says event submitted successfully your listing will be visible once approved so this screen over here we used to see after the preview step and when we clicked on submit listing and now since we included the custom bit of code over here it's now overriding that uh, preview step and it's submitting the event right away okay so now let's come to the uh, explanation part of the code. I'm not gonna go in depth, but give you a bit of idea what's going on behind the scenes. So we have uh, our custom function over here that takes a step parameter. So it removes the preview step and return these steps. So we call it step when you like submit the event and it goes to preview. So in this function, we are removing the preview step and we are injecting that uh, custom step count into submit event steps. So let me put it in simple way. What we are doing in this block of code, we are overriding submit event steps and removing the preview step from the function, okay? And then we have change buttons text. So change button text, what is it? Uh, the button we saw, if we go back and we will see the submit event over here had a text as preview, okay? So as you can see, so the button is now uh, renamed to submit event over here. So we are adding that function inside submit event form submit button text and we are overriding the default text using uh, this text over here. You can like pretty much modify this text over here as well, but I believe submit event is the appropriate value, okay? Then we have a custom function that will handle the event submission without the preview step, okay? I'm not gonna go ahead and explain the whole entire function, but pretty much it does that. It skips the preview step and it's gonna create the event for you, okay? So we are injecting that custom function with 
uh, event manager event submitted so we are overriding that default function with our custom function over here so you do not need to go and worry about the code explanation stuff over here all you have to do copy the code paste it over here on your themes functions.php if it's a child theme more good use that and you can update the file call it a day make sure you do not make any mistakes when pasting the copy pasting the code and that will save you a lot of time if you have any kind of questions uh what's going on over here and you if you fail to understood anything that's been said in this video let us know in the comment we will make sure that we will help you out until next time i'm sure saying goodbye thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next